All right, me and Jerry went to Lake of Egypt again the other day, and we caught the snot out of it. It was a uh, it was a moving bait bike day. We caught a few on a shaky head and some bottom bottom dragon stuff, but they definitely wanted something moving. And I did not bring an Alabama rig for some reason. I don't fish them very much. That's the reason. And I wasn't wasn't planning on really having to fish them. But Jerry started whacking them on that thing. So I had to borrow one from him. He didn't have the exact same model that they were biting. I think I ended up getting a, uh, it was some Jinko, Jinko rig and it worked okay. I caught some fish on it, but man, Jerry was out catching me like three or four to one. Um, one of the few times I've been a witness to the fish being so keyed in on a certain size of something and the color. He had um, the swim baits he, were th he was throwing were a different color. He only had a he only had a few of them. He didn't have any more left, but they were a different color than anything I had because I didn't bring my you know, swim bait stuff. Well, I thought he was better. better than he had on it. Yeah, he's better than no fish. They, I mean, they were really locked into that color. I don't even know the brand that they were. Um, they weren't Kitex because I was throwing Kitex, and I caught some fish. But he was definitely, uh, they definitely wanted what he had on the end of his line. So <laughs> it kind of got frustrating there towards the end of the day. I mean, when somebody's in the front of the boat and then they go to the back of the boat and they're catching a couple fish behind you and you're throwing an A rig as well. And they're just passing up your egg rig and hitting him his egg rig. We're throwing in the same spots. Um, pretty much everything's the same except for the actual rig and the color and style of the baits. Um, so it, it's it's amazing to see that you know real time comparison of uh, bait selection between fish. It really it really makes a difference. We had a great day though. We caught lots of fish. It was. Um, you know the water temperatures over there it's a power plant lake they were 51 to like 53 and a half something like that it depends you can move around on that lake and the water temperature really varies depending on where you're at um, the closer you are to the power plant the water's going to be warmer but the wind really carries that warm water down the lake so whatever bank that the wind's blowing on you know typically the water's going to be a little bit warmer on that bank you can jump around it's water was uh, pretty clear. It's usually clear over there. It's probably not now because we had a bunch of rain the last couple days, but we fished mainly main lake points and we went back in the creek and caught some fish on, uh, you know, I think I caught some fish on shaky head really. Got a lot of bites on the shaky head. They were small fish though. It was just a really good day. It was overcast, misty, kind of cold, like, you know, mid-30s, something like that. Not a lot of boats on the water. There was probably only, I don't know, a handful of boats, maybe 10, 12 boats on the water, as opposed to our last video where there was 50 plus boats on the water, which is why we had to use more finesse tactics that last time that weren't really hitting moving baits. So, Check out this uh, check out this video. Hope you like it. Please subscribe, share it with your friends. Hope it helps you out. But you'll see the amount of fish that he's able to catch on that certain A rig. It's uh, it was very impressive to say the least. Well, me and Jerry coming back over to Lake of Egypt. It's 36 degrees. It's foggy damp it's kind of misty driving past this power plant there's all kinds of soot on the road and get your vehicle all nasty but it's about 10 minutes longer to go the other way we're gonna go out and check it out looking forward to it it's gonna be cold yeah get a shot of the wind.
All right, we made it to Egypt. Back in the water, gonna go fishing. Alright, out here on Lake Egypt, overcast, foggy, it's about 37 degrees out here. Water temperature is 50.7 in this little pocket. And just pulled up on this point and caught our first fish of the day. We're going to get back at it. One. A little better one. Well, I thought he was better. There you go. Happy. Now he's not in twenty two feet. It's a three pound crappie challenge. There's one. Big, big one. Oh, he felt like a big one. Okay. Funny because uh, if you if you reel it just straight, they don't bother. But if you jerk it, you know, give it some, they'll react to it. But if you if you want an A rig, I I'm pretty confident I got another one. I, I probably got four or five of them. There you go. That's a good one too, isn't it? All right, guys. Not a shaky head bite today. It's a moving bait bite. I'm catching them on a rigs, and I just caught that fish on a crankbait. So we're gonna start covering some water. See if we can run into some more fish. How you doing? Very good. We didn't hurt him. Huh? So we didn't hurt that thing. Okay. We're dragging. Any good? That's a few smaller. Yeah. He's the one that did work on this motor when I first got this boat. Oh, is that right? Well, his dad did, Leo did. Yeah. I caught a boat coming there when it was tight. Yeah. You guys been catching a few?
guy from here. Better one, yeah. They're getting it. I've got a couple of empty hooks if you need them. Yeah. Right here. I think that'll get you. Yeah. I'll leave that middle one there. Yeah, this is, this is the middle one. There's one. Oh, this is good. One. You got one? Yeah. Yeah, it was an amazing day. I think we had 35 to 40 fish and tons of bites that we missed. You know, a lot of times they'll just bump that A-rig and they'll bump it again and uh, they, won't, they won't hook up for whatever reason. We had one fish that came up right next to the boat and just crashed right through the middle of the A-rig and grabbed that, that center swim bait. Um, pretty, pretty vicious strike actually. There's a pale one. That one just came up. That's another thing. <clears throat> when they hit that bait, they, they almost jerk the rod out of your hand. And I think with a single swim bait, they'll come up from behind it and grab it and kind of push it. So basically you just get a little bit of slack in your line or it gets a little bit light for the most part. With A-Rig, it seems like they 
I guess they hit it from the side more or they grab it and try to pull away from it. You know, I imagine there's uh, multiple fish in that little school. So you might have two or three fish that are kind of swarming on that A-rig. They'll grab it and pull it away from the other fish or they're hitting it from the side and moving out. Um, and so, therefore, you really feel them biting. They, they pull hard on it. It's, it's pretty fun. It's one of the best days. Oh, it actually is the best day of A-Rig fishing that I've had. Um, I don't do it very much, but I will tell you, I bought a couple of new A-Rigs and some different swim baits at Academy the other day. <laughs> Which, that's how it is, man. You, you start catching them on one thing, next thing you know, you're, that's your favorite technique for the day or for the week or the month. Need new water, that's all it is. Somebody's highly disappointed. I threw an A-Rig out and uh, caught a $25 Vision 110 Mega Bass Western Clown. Excellent. Nice fish. A-Rig, hardly ever throw it, but they're hitting it today. Another nice fish on the A-Rig, just working these main lake points and cuts and stuff and water's blowing in here. The water temperature is, what do you, what do you got? 51.9. It's 51.9, so that's awesome, that's perfect. Fish are biting.
Well, we just pulled back to a different spot, slowed down, caught this fish on a, on a tube. Uh, we noticed the shatter on the bottom in this area, so instead of throwing that A-rig and jerk bait, we decided to slow down and bait off. It's a nice fish. I'm going to let him back. Look at that black, he's got a black tail, doesn't he? It's a wide fish across the back. You see that sucker? That's a nice fat fish. Fatty. Fatty. Heck yeah. Diabetic special. Shake your head, strikes again. heavy. Caught those two good ones and then a small one.
All right. Right where he's supposed to be, wasn't he? <laughs> Here's how much that A-Rig made a difference. The color of the baits and the size of the baits and the size of the A-Rig. This is how much it made a difference. He was throwing his A-Rig on 50, I guess 50 pound braid, probably maybe 65. And I had 20 pound fluorocarbon. They were still going after his A-Rig over mine. You know, even though he had the braid, which is a little bit more visible in the water. So that doesn't always you know, that's not always the deciding factor. They were just keyed in on that rig. Look how fat those fish are. It's pretty. That one on the, the green one. Pretty fish. So one eye. some of your A-Rig stories. Um, what A-Rigs do you like? What some of your favorite baits? We were throwing eighth ounce uh, jig heads, you know, on all five wires. What's your opinion on, um, you know, different head weights and stuff? So leave some comments in the comment section. 